and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem is insert interval which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one intervals array which is a 2d array of integer type and second one is new interval array which is 1d array let's find out what will be the constraints as well so intervals dot length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and the elements inside it will be 0 to 10 raised to the power 9 okay all right and new intervals array new intervals array is a 1d array of only two length okay so now what these intervals and new intervals array signify let's check that as well so basically these are the intervals these are the intervals basically uh, meetings we can say meetings so there is a meeting from 1 to 3 there is a meeting from 4 to 5 there is a meeting from 6 to 7 and there is a meeting from 8 to 10 as well okay all right and now i have to add one new meeting from 5 to 6 i have to add a new meeting from 5 to 6 and what i have to do more is that after adding the meeting i have to merge them like there should not be any overlapping meetings if there are overlapping meetings i have to merge them i have to merge them okay all right i hope this point is also clear now if you remember if you remember in the previous POTD problem of the day we solved overlapping intervals where we were given some intervals and we have to remove the overlapping part like merge them merge the intervals to remove overlapping okay so we can use that we can use that approach as well so what I will do this is one array I will make another array list I will add this new interval 5 to 5 6 in that and then we will simply use our overlapping interval for overlapping intervals code okay all right so if you will do that if you will use that it will be like it will be running but the time complexity will be n log n the time complexity will be n log n okay all right but here you can see we are given one more thing that okay and represent and intervals is in salted order intervals is salted in ascending order so it is already salted so we have to take advantage of it and we will try to solve it in big o of n time complexity okay all right so you will be wondering how let's find out okay so basically you look key we have to we are given some intervals 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 there is a new interval 5 6 we have to add it into these intervals and then remove the overlapping interval okay i hope the problem statement is pretty simple and if you will look at the examples it will be more clear to you okay all right so here you can see 1 3 is there 4 5 is there after that 5 6 after that 6 7 so if you see it is something like 4 5 5 6 is the new interval and after that six seven after that six seven okay all right so yeah like these are the overlapping five is overlapping with this six is overlapping with this so the new interval can i write something like four to seven i will be busy from four to seven because i have a meeting from four to five then i have a meeting from five to six then i have a meeting from six to seven so can i say i will be busy from four to seven yes i can say that so i will simply do one three there is first one meeting after that four seven after that eight ten okay all right so we can let's say explain this problem in this way as well all right now let's find out how we are going to approach it so first of all i will make one array list i will make one array list answer okay and i will fill those intervals from this intervals array which are not overlapping which are coming let's say before this new interval start before this new meeting is start i will fill those intervals into my answer which are ending before this new interval is starting okay all right so is 1 3 1 3 ending 1 3 ending before 5 6 yes it is how i are checking let me tell you that condition as well so 1 3 is there and how we will check is arr let's say it is intervals i uh, 1 ARR I1 is less than new interval new interval 0 okay so if this condition is true if this condition is true it means it means ki, uh, this I is does not having any uh, relation and I can simply add it to answer okay all right so now first one is added after that this condition will fail after that, this condition will fail because I will get 4 and 4 is not less than Oh, sorry not 4 i will be getting 5 i will be getting 5 because arr i1 and 5 is not less than this 5 5 is not less than 5 okay it is less than or equal to but here it is only strictly less okay so now i have got some relation i have got some relation and now what i will do i have a new interval 5 6 i have a new interval 5 6 something like this and this is the starting point and uh, this is the ending okay so what i will do 4 5 and 5 6 
okay so which is the minimum of this which is the minimum of starting this is starting at 4 this is starting at 5 so the minimum is 4 minimum is 4 so i will update my starting to 4 okay all right after that do i need to update my ending as well because it is a 5 and my new interval is ending at 6 okay so i will not update that all right after that again i go to this 6 7 i go to 6 and look i have not added anything now after that i go to 6 7 i will check is this new interval 6 is uh, less or current 4 okay so 4 is less i will not check after that after that i come to 7 this 7 i will check is the max interval 6 is max or 7 so 7 i will update 7 okay all right after that i come to 8 after that i come to 8 and now what i will check is now what i will check is this new 8 this 8 this is new interval 8 it is starting it is starting after 7 it is starting after 7 so we don't have any connection we don't have any overlapping part with 8 10 and if i don't have any overlapping part with 8 10 i will not have after that as well okay all right so what i will do first of all i will add this my newly created interval 4 7 so the new array which will be inserted is 4 7 after that after that just fill all the elements just fill all the remaining intervals so here it is 8 10 okay so yeah that is it guys that is pretty much basic i will say just we have to uh, take the advantage of this thing which is written interval is sorted in ascending order by start i already sorted okay all right so if you will do this we can simply uh, get the solution so what is the exit like how we can check there is no relation 8 10 okay so if the starting if the ending point of new interval if the ending point of new interval is less than starting point of this 8 10 like the next interval starting point of next interval is greater than the ending point of this new interval so there are no overlapping and just add the new interval and then add the remaining intervals okay i hope this will be clear now let's take one more example with this last one and after that we will move to the code part okay so one two okay and four nine one two four nine uh, should i keep this condition yes let me keep this condition because it is helpful the above one okay something let's quickly delete it okay all right so one two one two arr i1 arr i1 is two is less than new i new interval zero yes it is less it is less so uh, there will be one array list answer and just add the new interval one two okay one two all right after that after that what i think after that we will move to the next interval that is three five okay all right arr i1 is five 5 is less than 4 no 5 is not less than 4 okay it means we have got some relation intervals like the relational meetings okay all right so what i told new interval is this 4 9 just keep on updating the starting point and ending point of this new interval okay so 3 5 which is a smaller 3 okay so new interval will starting will become 3 okay all right after that 5 and 9 so which one is uh, greater 9 okay so let it be as it is after that move to 6 7 which is smaller 3 or 6 3 okay keep it as it is 7 or 9 9 keep it as, as it is move to the next point 8 10 which is smaller 8 or 3 3 okay so as it is after that 10 like you you are getting i hope arr i arr i 0 will be compared with the minimum and arr i 1 will be compared with the maximum okay 10 and 9 so which one is maximum 10 so update my interval to 10 okay all right after that i move to the next point 12 16 so there will be a while loop which will be running so to get and after that look now what i got 10 is my ending meeting and after that 12 at 12 it is starting so there are no relation simply add the newly created interval that is 310 and after that all the add all the remaining intervals here it is only 12 16 so yeah that's that's it guys that's it so i hope it is very very simple and you guys can write the code of it so please pause the video and try to write the code okay all right i hope many of you would have able to write the code but if not let me explain you but before that before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video as well and i have made a very cool extension for you so let's take a quick look at that all right let me give you a quick walkthrough of the extension which i have built so you will get the link in the comment section pinned one so you have to go through that it will open this ui here you will be having one add to chrome button you just have to add it you just have to add it okay all right after that you will go to any geeks for geeks question you have to refresh it once so that changes are getting reflected after that you will get this watch tutorial button okay this watch tutorial button it will be here and on clicking of this a simple modal will open and here you can find all the tutorials here first one is mine only counting versions which i have just updated yesterday and there are others as well uh strivers is there and this 
is tech doors one geeks for geeks as well okay all right so whatever you want to, to watch you can simply click on this and uh, it will be open opened here as well and if you want to see it on youtube just click on watch on youtube and you will be uh, moved to this video and you can watch it here as well okay all right so yeah that was it guys about the extension and you can pin it as well like you can use this pin and after that you can use this extension on lead code as well you can use this extension on lead code as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys let's move back to the uh, code part okay all right i hope you guys would have loved the extension as well and you will surely download it now let's move on to the code section all right so first of all let's make one arr list of integer type answer is equal to new array list something like this and uh, after that what i told if you remember what i told i will take one i equal to zero and uh, let's take one length as well to take intervals dot length so that i don't have to write it again and again okay after that what i do while i is less than length so that i don't move out of the bound and now remember very very carefully intervals i one is less than new interval zero okay new interval zero what i will do i will simply keep on adding answer dot add now let's paste this intervals i intervals i okay so just add the new uh, this intervals i array to this integer it will not be integer it will be an integer array okay something like this all right so these were the those array these were those meetings which are starting and ending which are ending before the new interval will start so there is no relation with that okay all right so simply add it after that i have got some relation and if you remember what i did first of all while i is less than n and then look intervals i zero is less than or equal to new interval i oh sorry new interval one it means it means key if my intervals i zero which is let's suppose this six is less than or equal to interval that is this six 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 okay so it is equal it means there is some relation there is still some relation and if the relation is there what i told simply add the new intervals update the new intervals to new interval zero is equal to math dot min of new interval zero comma intervals i zero okay all right and uh, here i will also do i plus plus to keep on updating the pointer and same same thing i will be doing at new interval one as well but instead of adding instead of minimizing i will maximize it so new interval one and i1 i hope this point is also clear because i have already explained it in detail in the uh, dry run okay all right after that now look all the test all the uh, overlapping intervals are combined so after that if you remember what i told simply add answer dot add what new interval answer dot add new interval because now new interval is added after that after that all the after uh, intervals will be added because those who don't have any overlapping those who don't have any relation okay while i is less than length and and yeah i think while i is less than n will work and uh, simply do answer dot add interval i and also do i plus plus and yeah guys that is it that is it that's it simply return answer okay let's try to come submit this as well meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video you will get this code in the description section my github link is there so get the code from there and please download the extension as well because i have made it with so much efforts and yeah i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel and bye